Proportions make me sad sometimes. Proportions make me cry sometimes. But portions make me cry sometimes. But most of all, they make me use math. Yes, so anyway, we're about to dive in head deep, transform ourselves into these proportional relationships. So before we even understand X times Y equals Z, Z times Y equals B, B and A and C and what, let's just break down what, what is a proportion? So, how would you best explain a proportion? Let me let me show you this real quick. You see my head here. You see it kind of big, right? What about here? I mean, it's still big, but it's smaller. Big, small. Or I will use the academic term scale. This is a bigger scale. This is a smaller scale. I have scaled it back. So, pay attention. Same head, same face, same person, same brilliance, but different sizes. That is what's proportional. Proportions are basically something that is the same. So it's the same properties, the same things, but it's at different dimensions. Hmm. Here's another breakdown. So we see this here, correct? So let me just say that this here is... Two by one. See it? Two of these, one of these, small, small proportions. Now, let's put it on the screen. Bam. Notice it's bigger than what it was here. Same thing, different size. Proportional. Because when you turn around and do it here, let's say now it's 20 by 10. Let's break this down again. So, proportions are the same, but different sizes, different proportions. So let's just break it down to something that we're doing or dealing with regularly. We're going to go ahead and go buy a big screen television, right? So we're going to buy this big screen television. Bam, it's beautiful. You probably got your numbers backwards, but we'll figure it out. And my big screen television is 24 by 10. Okay, it's really not that big. But instead, when I'm working things out and trying to draw it, I don't want to draw a 24 inch by 10 inch on my paper. It's going to take up too much space. So on my paper, I'm going to draw something that's smaller, but I want it to be proportionate. So instead, I draw something that is, I'm going to put it here, like here to here, and this side is 12, and then this side is five. Oh, you can't see, 12 and five, I made it really small. Here we go, 12 and five. Is this the same size as this? Not physically next to each other, but if I take 24 and divide it by two, and I take 10 and divide it by two, I get 12 by five. Oh, so I get the same proportional size, but they're different dimensions. So this can represent this in a smaller scale. Yes, no, let's try another one. We're gonna try another one. So we're gonna make this big, 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 big. We're gonna go for a 50. We're gonna go for a 50 by 30. 50 by 30, really big, right? 50 feet by 30 feet. This is a swimming pool. I want my swimming pool and I'm back up, right? Now, when I'm drawing my landscape and getting it together, I'm gonna write down something. I'm gonna draw something that is 40 inches by 30 inches. Is this proportional? I hope you said no. What did I do to get 50 to 40? And did I do the same number for 30? No. So let's go ahead and do it this time. Let's say I divide by 5. 50 divided by 5 is 10. If I divide this by 5, I get 6. 
Now, this is proportional because we're using the same rate of change or unit rate, we'll break that down to. So as long as the proportion can be done with the same number and it can scale up, it can scale back. It's proportional. Okay, we're not gonna do that too. What if I did something that was 500 by 300? Is this proportional? Yes or no? Hope you said yes, because this time we multiplied this by 10, got 500, multiplied this by 30, got 300. It's proportional. Ah, ah, proportional. It's, okay, so basically what we're breaking down today is just what is proportions and can we figure out if things are proportional or not proportional? Now, there's a secret to this. It's a way to make things a little faster. But you'll get that secret later. Not today, tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and break down proportions. <laughs> 